설치했습니다. 하나, 둘, 셋. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. My name is Nathan, and welcome back to the SYT official and the Paran collaboration series. And here today, our special guest is none other than Adrian. Yeah. Hello, I'm Adrian. <laughs> I'm a coordinator on Paran, and I've been with the team for like almost four years now, probably more. And as all can tell from both the title of this video and the uh, abundance of plushies on our table right now <laughs> in Adrian's sweatshirt, um, we are going to be doing something Pokemon related. So um, to celebrate the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield, which is, um, has just been released for a couple of days now, we are going to be taking the AP Pokemon exam. Oh uh, gosh, so uh, have, you seen, have you ever taken or seen the AP Pokemon exam before? I mean, I looked at it once and it was pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> Takes me back to high school talking. Yeah. For all of my high school viewers that are taking AP classes right now, this is just giving me straight up anxiety because the font is exactly the same. Whoever made this, you are a genius. It's still like this thick. Like it's crazy. <laughs> like how Three big this C's. is. Three C's. Three C's. So um, I do understand that the Pokemon ex um, AP exam is very, very long and we obviously don't have a lot of time to make these recordings and if we're gonna do the entire thing, we're gonna be here for like five Ever. hours. Forever. Forever. So thankfully here today, we have Connie behind the camera who's going to give us uh, 10 random questions um, from, a, uh, from the 70 questions that are on this exam for the multiple choice for us to answer. So Connie, if you could please give us uh, 10 random numbers between 1 and 70. 10, right? Okay. Yeah. 5, okay, 5, 7, 7 14, 14, 28, 28, 30, 30, 30 32, 32, 41, okay. 55, 55, 56, 56. <laughs> and let's do... 69. 69. <laughs> it's a family friendly channel. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so we have our 10 questions. So we are going to be taking 20 minutes to be answering all of these 10 questions. And then for 25 minutes after, we're going to be discussing our justification for the answer and see if it's actually correct or not. And see if we actually are Pokemon masters. How long have you been into Pokemon for, Adrian? Just to like set like a little base level for the people that are watching. Well, I got into Pokemon in second grade. It was when I got a copy of Pokemon Ruby from a kid on the school bus. Uh -huh. He was an OG. He was, he was blazing kid. KFC. KFC. <laughs> um, for me, like I've been into it since um, my sister would actually collect like the VHS tapes of like the, oh, the OG Pokemon series. So I got into it then, but I didn't like start seriously playing Pokemon until like Pokemon Ruby came out and like. Oh wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> I had this one, little fun fact, I had this one Absol that I caught in my um, Pokemon Ruby game. I've transferred him to every single game ever since until Pokemon Sword when the, the National Dex got cut. And I can't bring him over anymore, so the hashtag Dexit. 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 <laughs> the tradition is broken. All right, so uh, do we have 20 minutes on the yes. timer, Connie? College students taking an AP exam. Yeah! Just because we have our Bachelor of Science doesn't mean we're competent in APs. Oh my god. <laughs> Give us the countdown, Connie. Okay, let's do this. And start. Let's go. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> this is a hard one. To reach the exit of the Kanto Victory Road. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Ditto Sylveon, give me strength. Oh my god, this is giving you so much anxiety. <laughs> this is terrible. Wait, what comes after seven? Between the versions. I don't know why I took off my glasses, it doesn't help me see any better. <laughs> Fake fan right now. Same here. A lot of these questions are like Hoenn based too, so I feel even worse. Oh yeah, that's not it. <laughs> that's definitely not it. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in a way, like uh, Connie behind the camera is kind of like our uh, our exam proctor. I'm gonna start looking like a ditto. I'm still on the same question. I'm making educated guesses. They're not educated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we have to decode. Unknowns? Ha! <laughs> Decode unknowns? Ha! <laughs> okay, I've never seen this item before in my life. I don't know if it, it's this. 
What? What are the options? It's probably an item that we never even had to use throughout our journey. I'm gonna be so upset if it's something that we've like run into before. No, no, no. <laughs> Who's the trick master? Oh, I remember the trick master. He's a funny guy. I know we're not answering all the questions here, but I'm gonna take this one and try my best. <laughs> oh, okay. I know this one. I hope. I feel like a bad fake Pokemon fan right now. I've never heard of this person before. Who are you people? <laughs> Birches from Hoenn. Okay, okay, he's a guy with flip points. He looks like Jack Black. <laughs> Jack Black? <laughs> what question are you on, Adrian? I'm on question 55. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is how I get out of my exams. <laughs> <laughs> Who got time for rechecking their answers? Not me. <laughs> Okay, I, I remember this from the Let's Go games, but I don't know if it applies to the old gen. Uh, I just saw on 36, I saw the move Grass Knot, and I don't know why, but I just thought of- The double, the double! Oh my goodness. <laughs> it, it would be a lot more helpful if this was like a colored exam. But then again, what if I- make things easier for you for the AP exam. Yeah. They don't got time or money for color printing. Of course, <laughs> our schools, we need funding, so we don't end up like us. <laughs> it didn't help me, but it might help you. <laughs> Oh, okay. Rock climb? No, that That's a, a thing? That was an HM in Generation 5. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tape's wobbly. Connie, how much time do we have left? 10 Set. minutes and 42 okay. seconds. Thank Count. you, Miss Tran. You're welcome. Are we gonna have a class party after we take the exam, Miss Tran? No, you have to check your answers first. That sucks. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> You want to give me five more questions to answer, Cody? Don't give him extra credit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving him extra credit, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> I'm just being sadistic. Okay, uh... I don't know about you. I'm feeling 22. Who's Gherkin? Yeah, yeah. Which of the following is not a valid way for the player to increase friendship with their Pokemon? Slap them. <laughs> Slap them in Pokemon again. <laughs> okay, last question for me. Let's go. How much time do we have left, Connie? Uh, 720. Odin's Whimsicott has used the Cotton Guard twice, which the following approach of the player used in this scenario. Uh, but did, does the Cotton Guard increase regular defense or special defense? I have literally encountered an Albigos that used Cotton Guard against me, but I can't tell you <laughs> the answer is because I forgot. My former squire, like, his fury attack hit five times, and he knocked out that Albigos that was flying in the wind. Like, no, I was gonna <laughs> catch that! Like, oh my god, I know what that is, I'm gonna catch it! And then I was like, okay, if I use Pluck, th this thing is going to die. Okay, Corvus Squire, you is Fury Attack! And it, it, hit hits, five times. it hit five times and it took a like, square out. It reminds me of Gen 7 games when some of the Pokemon get a critical hit because it loves you. Even though you're trying to catch a Pokemon, it just flies with you like. <laughs> did you good, right, <laughs> And then <laughs> me off screen is just like, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Miss Tran, how many, how many minutes do we Five have minutes left? and 46 and counting min seconds. <laughs> <laughs> These kinds of questions because I only use Pokeballs for everything. Kind of like OCD about what yeah. Pokeballs you use. Yeah, I had consistent. To use, I like things being consistent. <laughs> I had to use a Great Ball to catch a Mothra because I used 30 Pokeballs on the Mothra. 30? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in a great ball, like, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Should I release me? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. What's even worse is that, like, uh, when you uh, go to the Pokemon Center and, like, heal everything, you see all the Pokemon yes, that you use. Yes, yes. And, like, it's all just, like, regular Pokeballs and then one great ball. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call the time. Yeah. 1.30! Yeah! Okay, so Connie has the um, the answers to the AP Pokemon exam on my laptop right now. Before you give us the answers, let's talk about it. Yes. So, number five. Uh, which of the following HMs is necessary to reach the end of the Kanto Victory Road? I answer D, all three of them. Same. Yeah. I just vaguely have memories of um, Pokemon Leaf Green and struggling to get through the uh, the Victory Road because I didn't have Pokemon that could learn all of this. Oh stuff. yeah, my cousin never finished her Leaf Green because she could she she had that same issue oh, too. No. I remember you needed at least two HM slates for um for the original Pokemon mm -hmm. games. Yeah, definitely. That was number five. We answered D for that one. It says A. <laughs> <laughs> what? It says A. <laughs> Wait, huh? My number five is just one. It's just strength only. Well, we're off to a terrible start. It's what because the question says reach the exit, not like generally. The entire yeah, the entire thing. thing. The exit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
Sorry. Zero for zero. Zero, zero. Uh, number zero. seven. Which of the following Pokemon is number zero in the Unova regional Pokedex? I put Victini. Victini, it's Victini. Is I it? know it's Victini. Okay. I, don't, I have no idea, because I know it's not Zoroark. Because oh, Zoroark right. is later down the line. Genesect, he comes later down the line. Meloetta also comes later yeah, down the line. Yeah, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. <laughs> it's an A for number seven. Yeah. Yay! We got one! We got one! One for two. That's, <laughs> all right, so that's, that's one already correct. enough. <laughs> <laughs> then the next one is number four. Teen and which of the following offers the best comparison between Mount Pyre and Mount Chimney in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? This one I took like five minutes to like ponder upon. I put A. Depending on the version of the game, Team Magma slash Aqua finds the meteorites on Mount Chimney, and Team Magma slash Aqua steals the red blue or to wiggle on Groudon or Tyler on Mount Pyre. What do you put in? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the right answer because I just blanked out for this one. I, okay, I never played the other version of the Hoenn games. Mm -hmm. I only ever played. Um, Ruby and Omega Ruby, so I wouldn't know anything about Team Aqua. Let's <laughs> see. Uh, Mount Pyre features hail during Battles of the Sun, whereas Mount Chimney features sandstorm. Okay. That doesn't sound right, because I don't remember there being hail at Mount Pyre. There's no sandstorm either, fam. <laughs> Wait, then what was that? What was the whole particle effect that was happening on Mount Pyre? It was the answer. It, Nathan's correct, it's A. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a B now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, I got more than I thought correct. What's the next question? Uh, question 28. Which of the following tasks is the player required to complete in order to reach the Elite Four in Pokemon Emerald? Pokemon Emerald is my game, so if I get this wrong, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. I was stuck between A or B. A is return to Cycler by using a Mach Bike uh, to reach the highest score, then defeat or catch with Quasi. Or B, travel to Musty to use a Battle Team runs who invaded the Space Center to see a Watch I think I got this mixed up for the post game of Omega Sapphire, mm. so I put B. I put A because I just remember at least what I heard back then was that you have to like catch a queen before you can even defeat the champion. What's the answer, Tony? It's B. Wow. <laughs> what? Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody, let it be known. I have now reached a C average on this exam. Uh, question 30. It's the unknown question. So, in Pokemon Silver, where can the Pokemon that comprise the message be found? I put Ruins of Elf. Same. C. Same. Mirage Cave is in. Halloween. Victory Road is like everywhere. Yeah. I don't think that's where this thing is. I though. highly doubt it. Salacion Ruins is in Sinnoh, right? Yeah, because Salacion Town. So, and the unknowns played a big role in the Johto game, so therefore it is Sea Ruins of Alf. We did it! We got one in common! We got one in common! <laughs> Two for five. Alright, so next is question 32. That's the next page. Okay, this one I definitely don't remember. This. Ooh, okay. And I played Leaf Green. <laughs> Alright, so 32. Which of the following is the reason why the SSK is mandatory? It's a mandatory location for the player to visit in order to complete the storyline of Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. I personally didn't play Fire Red and Leaf Green, but I did play the Let's Go games, and I remember something around the lines of C. The player receives the Silph Co key, um, card key from the captain after they defeat all of Team Rocket Grunts on the ship. I remember doing that. Oh, goodness. Uh, I put I, I was gonna put C, but then I put A instead. But I don't remember what HM3 was. What is HM3? Is it Surf for Cut? No, Cut is 1. HM3 is Surf. HM2 is Fly. Oh, okay. HM4 is Strength. <laughs> And this is H and M. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> okay, so I put C, you put A. I put A, I'm probably wrong though. Okay. Give us the answer. What's the right answer, Connie, for 32? I'm sorry, but it's B. <laughs> <laughs> the player receives HM1, oh, cut, uh, upon giving the captain of the back rub. <laughs> What? I don't remember any of this. What is? I don't remember that at all. <laughs> Terrible. What? That's I don't so remember. Funny. 41. 41. In which of the following battle scenarios does this item have a chance of being used in? And they're referring to the big Malasada up here. I think that's from the Alola games. So, in which of the following battle scenarios does the big Malasada have a chance of being used in? I put C. Same. Same. Yeah. But I, honestly, I, I thought the big Malasada was something related to like status effects. Yeah. Either for our status conditions or like, it's like a citrus berry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
<laughs> what? It's hit by a not very effective try attack. Okay, what's the justification behind that? What's a try attack? Try attack is um, Oridon's signature move, um, which is like the three random effects. It can either burn, freeze, or shock. Mm -hmm. shock or paralyze. Paralyze. Shock is in yeah. Star Wars Galaxy. And it's a normal type move, but it has like a 30% chance or something of inflicting any of those status conditions. So we were right. It is related to status conditions. Yeah. Oh gosh. It is a local specialty in the Lola region and cures the Pokemon from all non volatile status conditions and confusion. Oh. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it was the most recent region too. I feel bad for getting that wrong. 55. 55. Okay, so 55 requires us to read the excerpt, so. <clears throat> Should I read this in like my narrator voice? Do it. First, accept the ways of the living, and thinking that sometimes conflict with your own. Oh, that sometimes conflict with your own. Um, <laughs> and think about what's really important. This will truly broaden your horizons. Be the best trainer you can be. At the same time, remember to have fun traveling with your Pokemon. <laughs> also, I want to ask for your help in solving this region's biggest Pokemon mystery. The secrets and potential of Mega Evolution, a new kind of evolution that occurs in battle. Ugh. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> Question 55 is which of the following best describes the player's sequence of actions to resolve the mystery discussed in the excerpt? This is a very, very chunky question. Because mm -hmm. I frankly don't remember like this. I remember the game. I think this was um, Pokemon X and Y. Mm -hmm. um, all the questions have something to do with Corina, uh, the one, the Lucario Mega Evolution Trainer. I don't know which one. I just took a wild guess. I went for D. First, a player visits um, visits the fossil by the Amber Town to learn about Mega Evolution. Next, they receive a Mega Ring from Professor Sycamore. Then they defeat the rival. Lastly, they receive a Lucario from Mega Lucario Knight from Corina. Oh, I put B, which is um, I don't know. If, okay, first of all, I don't know who Gherkin is. So if anyone can like drop in the comments who Gherkin is. Um, oh, sure. Do you remember who Gherkin <laughs> is, Amanda? He's the grandfather of. And a descendant of the first trainer to mega evolve Pokemon. Oh, oh. Class cleaning. Well, I picked on B, which is first the player learns about mega evolution through Gurkin. Next, they defeat the rival with a mega ring. Then they defeat Karina and Shower Gin. Lastly, they receive a mega ring from Karina and Tower Master. What's the correct answer, Connie? Wait, you said B? I said B. But what you read out for B was not not on the PDF. <laughs> what? <laughs> what else? What else? Wait. The Fossil Lab. Oh, wait, what? So the B and D are, are switched. So what is the right name? So it's B, which is the first the player visits the Fossil Lab. <laughs> so that's technically my D then. Yeah. Okay, I got that right. You read out your question, your answer, and I was like, it's are like, you that blind? Who's, who's Gherkin? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm bad. <laughs> I'm just the way I am. <laughs> My wife. Uh, 56. Which of the following forms of transportation was not available to the player until generation 6? I put a skateboard. I don't, skateboard? I don't ever remember riding a skateboard. I put roller skates. Because I just remember like my analog stick and my team. Mm -hmm. Answer. 56. Answer D. A pair of roller D. skates. Which of the following forms of transportation was not available to the player until Generation 6? Oh, okay. I read that wrong. Until Generation 6. If a Pokemon game had skateboard, then we have <laughs> and the last question is 69. Oh, so 69, um, in Pokemon Black and White, how does the player acquire Lustrous, Gracious, and Adamant Orbs? I remember just like a random person giving it to us. I put A. Same. Yeah. Same. Just like a, like some weird random person just like, oh, like here's something for your troubles. And then it says, player received the Adamant Orb, but player received Greasiest or player received lustrous or like where did this come from? The answer is A. The yeah! Answer. And I <laughs> <laughs> we did it! Well, we got 69 correct. Amazing. Right. <laughs> so out of the 10 questions, I got one, two, three, four, five. I got six out of ten, guys! That's is that still an F? It's a C. It's like a D. D it's like a D. I think you get correct, Adrian. Yeah, four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. So, what does this say about us college graduates? Well, we do get our bachelor's of science degrees in our respective majors, but not in Pokemon. Unfortunately. We have failed you. Forgive us. <laughs> Sylveon, do you have anything to say? 
I don't think that's a Sylveon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a Sylveon. Uh, but yeah, guys, this does conclude our uh, collaboration of the Pokemon AP exam. Um, Adrian, do you have any last minute things to say to the people at home or to this exam right now? Well, this is just in regards to the whole national decks at issue and the new games. But if you want to buy the games and play it, then I don't, I don't, I can't stop you. If you don't want to, you want to save money, then it's up to you too. But it's up to you to make, you know, make know. what the games are to you. If they're fun for you, then, you know, let that be your value. Vote with your wallet. Vote with your wallet. Use your money the way you want to spend. Just like me wasting all my Poké Dollars on clothing items. <laughs> this is our time with the Pokémon AP exam. Hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, different uh, type of content. I know there's, like, not a lot of K-pop stuff we put in here, but if you guys like Pokémon, well, you guys were in for a treat today. But yeah, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed today. Um, that is our time. My name is Nathan, SYJ Official. This is... Adrian. <laughs> and guys, that is our time. Until then, see you guys next time. Bye!